Just take my word for it. It sounds like a mower. Just brrrr. Shit. What's up, YouTube? This is Kyle and James. What's up? It's obsessed Auto. We're here with the GTI. We got problems. Yeah, we do. I feel like we were just here doing the same thing last week. Yeah, about seven days ago today. Yeah. So as you guys can probably tell by the title of this video, we've got some issues with a downpipe gasket. We popped the one that came with it. So uh, tonight, we get to undo what we did seven days ago and uh, put a new gasket in it to remedy this. Sounds, a, sounds like a lawnmower. Yeah, here's a sound clip for you guys. Oh yeah, it's supposed to sound like that. Totally normal. Everything's fine. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. Yep, yeah, smells great. So, we're going to pull that old gasket. Well, actually it's really a new gasket. But we're going to pull it out and see what failed. We're going to replace it with a factory one. You already shut it off, didn't you? Nope. Oh, okay. We're going to replace it with an OEM. I went to Wichita today to the Volkswagen dealership and got an original equipment gasket. So I got this gasket and four new nuts for it. I think I'm like $17 deep in this, which I'm a little pissed off about. You know, you buy something, you don't expect to do it again. You don't expect to have to spend more money on it. But I'm not dogging the company or anything like that because like I said in the video of us installing it the product is very nice and the product is very well made I personally just don't recommend using the gasket that they supply with you so live and learn alright guys so as you can see the hat has come off and we are now dripping in the sweat here is the gasket I would say that's failure if I've ever seen gasket failure in my life. That is one week on the car. Everything was installed properly. Split the gasket in half and then did all that number. So we're going to replace that with this factory one right here. From the look of it, we don't have to do anything on the circumference for the hole. We just have to put it on and uh, seal it back up so here goes nothing one thing that I'm gonna tell you guys that we didn't include in the downpipe install is the stud may come out with the nut that just may be something that happens so beware they're weird I don't feel like uh, that should have happened but whatever we'll get it put back on because we're professionals <laughs> So, all right, well, there's your little update. We'll get you with the sound bite here in just a minute. All right, guys, welcome back to Under the Hood with James. It's been 10 days, 6 hours, and 12 minutes, but we're finally done. So let's see what it sounds like. First fire ever. I'm back to being quiet. Good deal. All right, y'all. So there you have it. 17.9 days later, or however long James said that this took. And we went from having the two piece broken in half that's supposed to be one piece and continuous back to a factory gasket. And as you can tell from that short little sound clip right there, we are no longer leaking. Everything is put back together, and uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So if you do one of these installs, I highly recommend going and getting a factory gasket. It doesn't cost that much, and it's a hell of a lot easier than trying to either A, do it yourself again, or B, spending money for a shop to do it a second time. So you know as always we'd love to see those likes on the videos so if you found this helpful please like it if you're new to the channel please do subscribe we'd love to see new subscribers come in hopefully you guys enjoy the content and uh stay tuned because uh, i bought something else for the car today i think you guys might like it
I'll have a video of that coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.